Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy J Rocks hitting you with another graphic novel haul. And also, you know, be hitting myself with some uh, electrolytes right here. Some Pedialyte or what? Like about 90 degrees. That really helps you uh, so you don't dehydrate. What, we, what flavor we got here? Apple, pineapple, and orange. Place Replace electrolytes. So keep hydrated, guys. Especially right now, we're in the summer and it's hitting. It's hitting hard. All right, now let's get to the books. All right, so the, the first book of the haul is uh, Stormwatch Volume 1. I got this because uh, I have gotten the, a few of the Wildcats uh, trade paperbacks. And I hear Stormwatch is kind of like a continuation that it includes some of the characters and so forth. I have no idea. I'm not familiar with it, but I have heard of this title. Never read it, though. It looks cool. It's a paperback. It's pretty sturdy. Written by Warren Ellis. Now here it says it's, it's, this uh, covers Stormwatch issues 37 to 47. So I'm missing 36 issues. I don't know if I have to go back and buy those or what. This this big guy here looks kind of familiar. Like I've seen him before. And uh, might have been in Wildcats or Gen 13. The artist uh, Tom Rainey. Not too familiar with him either. Uh, typical comic book artist. I mean it's cool. Has this that 90s feel to it? I'm not sure if this was in the 90s or in the 2000s. Okay, well now this is a trade paperback. The reason I kind of wanna, I'm thinking about getting the hardcover. The reason I got this was, cause they had this one, um, the hardcover volume two. It was going for 20 bucks, and then I seen a set. There was a listing where they had the hardcover and volume one trade paperback for 20. So I said I might as well get that one and get the uh, trade paperback, right? <laughs> I mean it's a no brainer. So like I said, I'll probably sell this one. All right, so this is the cover to volume two. Same artist, Time Rennie, uh, Brian Hitch, it says. Let's see the, there's a the spine. Kind of looks the same as the other one. Here's the bag. Now here, it does the continuation. This is issues, uh, Stormwatch volume two covers issues 48 to 50. Now the series ends at issue 50, and then it says, and then the new series one through 11. So I guess, I don't know, I guess it ends at 50, they start a new series to continue the story. Um, uh, let me know if you guys are familiar with this series, would I need those first 35 issues or 36 issues? And do they have them in trade paperback? Let me know about all that. Now, when they describe this book to me, one thing they always bring up, bring up that these two guys are a couple and that they're gay. And to me, I was like, I haven't read it, so I don't know, is that even important in the story? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I just kind of want to know what's the basic story about. I don't know if I need to know that. That doesn't really sway my decision if I'm going to buy a book or not because of that. That really doesn't influence my decision. Like I said, I'm more about if I the story sounds interesting, the characters look cool, I'll give it a shot. And then, you know, as I read, I'll figure out what characters I, I'm digging or whatever. Liking the inkings on this, the I'm I'm feeling look look at all those dark inks like. I'm feeling the anchor here. I don't know who it is. But yeah, that's some of the you know flip through it a little. So now I'm gonna need the volume one of this because this volume no this is volume two. So I have volume one and I'm gonna need the volume one in hardcover. Eager to give it a read. Let me know what you guys thought if you've read this before and does it connect in any way to Wildcats? Uh, and let's get to the next book. All right, now here the ne next book we got is Authority. Uh, this is written by Mark Millar, Frank Quietly, it's volume two. It's a nice, uh, chunky hardcover, pretty thick. Volume two, now I need to hunt down that volume one. I heard this, it's kind of the same team from Stormwatch. So I heard from Stormwatch, it will continue on here. It says here, the most outrageous superhero comic uh, today. So, you know, I'm with that. I don't mind a little outrageousness. This covers issues 13 through 29. So I need to get that volume one. I guess it's going to be the first 12 issues. Um, this still seal. Should I even open it right now? Nah, well, you guys know what to say from Frank Quietly's art. Pretty sure we all know who he is. All right, let me get to the next book. The next book is, is uh, Archie Comics, volume one. Cover looks pretty cool. This is uh, by Mark Wade and Fiona Staples. It's two pretty well-known creators. Um, I'm familiar with Mark Wade. I, I read a few of his books. I, I've liked what I've read from him. Fiona Staples, I I know her through name. I heard of her. Not that familiar with her art. 
But I hear good things. I mean, people like it. It's kind of like a cartoony style. Of, the colors make it look cartoony. Not sure the facial reactions and stuff too. But on the cartoony side. I know about Archie and all that too. We all know. We've, I've watched the cartoon. So I have a pretty good idea of what, what to expect. Um, so I'm going to give this a read because it, it is Mark Wade and I enjoy his writing. Um, th somebody in the group hooked me up with this. With this volume 1. And this is uh, volume 2. Volume 2 seems to have a different artist. Veronica Finch or Fish or something like that. I'm illiterate guys. I'm illiterate but... Correct me if I'm wrong, this is, I guess that's fish, right? Let's see, this art. It's not too different from the previous one. It is still written by Mark Wade. One series I hear is good from the Archie comics is the Sabrina. I'm digging the art on that. It has like an eerie, moody art style, the colors and so forth. And I hear it's more of a like uh, horror type book. Gotta check that out. That looks pretty cool. I like the art over here. Okay, now the last book of the haul, the big boy. All right, the last book of the haul is this one, Deadpool Classics. I read the some of the Deadpool by Joe Kelly. It, eh, it wasn't honestly. I know everybody praises it that it's great. It completely changed the character. It really wasn't my thing. And you're right, it completely changed the character from what I liked to something a little different. I liked him back when he was with Air, Air, uh, X Force back in the '90s. But yeah, this has a Deadpool right here. I mean, we got Wolverine, we got Lady Death. So, you know, that Taskmaster. So, that shit looks pretty dope. Let's check it out. Let's check out the back real quick. All right, that's all the covers. Includes a lot of issues. A lot. I guess like the last 10 or 12 issues of the Joe Kelly run. Then, shit, camera's getting a little blurry on me here. But yeah, we'll check it out. See, see what's... What's popping right here? It got uh, Deadpool 34 to 69. Black Panther 23. Agent X 1 through 15. Nice. Check out some of the interiors. Alright, some of the art looks pretty dope. Digging it. Oh, we got Punisher up in here. That's just pretty tight. Here you see it's sewn on. You see the threads. And it lays real flat. Look, look at how... Look, it lays almost straight like a single issue would. No good or loss whatsoever. That's always a plus. The pages are perfect where they're not, because when they're too thick, it can be a problem. It won't stay still when it when you open it and so forth. And sometimes if they're too thin, can be a problem as well. Looks like we're getting some type of origin story here from Deadpool. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to dig into this. See what's the haps. Um, story's looking interesting enough. Oh, getting blurry on me again. Damn, she's acting up. All right, guys. Well, either way, um, that's all I got for you today. This is the last book in the hall. You know, hit that subscribe button. After you hit that subscribe button, you already know. Hit that bell button so you can stay alert. Uh, hit that share button so that you know you can pass the video around. People can scope it out, see if they like it or whatever. Put your comments on the bottom. Let me know what you think. If you have any of these books, what you think about them, which one's the best one out of the out of the bunch. And uh, you know, stay tuned. Stay tuned because I got a few more books. I'm gonna uh, record another video tomorrow. I got some more books coming in, so I'll record that video. But I won't load. I'll give it you know a few days before I load that up. I'll give it a uh, two three days or whatever. And uh, yeah, guys. So that's all I got for you. Check you guys out next time.